Stop lying. Nigerian exposed hate, as Megan had showed proof, she isn't 43% Nigerian, and smashed her latest podcast. The Dodgers of Sussex, Meghan Markle, has revealed that she is 43% Nigerian after taking a genealogy test. Markle had made this known in the latest episode of a podcast, Archetypes, where she expressed her desire to learn more about her roots, the Mirrors reported on Tuesday. As Markle discussed with American actress Isa Ray, a Nigerian-American writer, Ziwe Fumundo, and Professor Emily Bernards, as the Duchess of Sussex had stated that she took a genealogy test which revealed that she is 43% Nigerian. And when a guest had asked her to share what the results had entailed, the Duchess had said, I am 43% Nigerian, to the shock of Ziwe, who responded, No way. As Ziwe further asked, Are you serious? This is huge. Igbo, Yoruba, do you know? The Duchess of Sussex then answered, I am going to start to dig deeper into all of this, because anyone that I have told, especially Nigerian women, are just like what? Besides, Meghan Markle had made a thinly veiled threat to the royal family in her interview with the US magazine, The Cut, when she had revealed that she can say anything after stepping down from duties. But the Duchess of Sussex had appeared to U-turn on that threat in her most recent interview with Variety magazine, when she had compared her life before and after. As royal commentator Rachel Bowie had pointed out that Meghan was positive about her royal life instead of rehashing old issues. As speaking on the Royal Obsessed podcast, Miss Bowie had said, she talked about institutions of the monarchy, which I thought was really interesting. She's asked, going through the process, you did the monarchy, and then becoming a private citizen again, are those institutions similar? This is in reference to Hollywood and the monarchy. As she talks about how much has changed in Hollywood, and she had said, as complex as organizations might be, there's always something, and that I think is positive, and it is important to focus on that. It is a kind of direct turnaround from the cut when she had said, I never signed anything, and I can say whatever I want. And now, she is saying that there is always something that is positive, always coming to terms with what had happened, I think. I think a lot of criticism was that she was really dragging and rehashing old issues in every interview, and I felt like, here we go again, talking about how everything went wrong. As the Duchess has previously told the cut, I think forgiveness is really important. It takes a lot more energy to not forgive. But it takes a lot of effort to forgive, and I've really made an active effort, especially knowing that I can say anything. She had added, I have a lot to say until I don't. As royal expert Roya Nakia describes the comment as a threat, as she had told the royal beat, the thinly veiled threats that came as Meghan's interview with the cut, I think she probably hopes it does feel threatening to the royal family. And in other news, expert warned Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are already in debt to Netflix, after having sold their souls to the streaming giant. As these claims have been made by the royal commentator Kingsley Shoffield in her interview with Express UK, as she had started off by claiming, if the death of Diana is considered vulgar in the crown, it most certainly could hurt Netflix's relationship with Harry and Meghan. However, they've cashed an incredibly large check from Netflix, so they might say that they've already sold their souls, so what can they do? As the Sussexes have to fulfill their contractual obligations before they can move on. As she has also offered a suggestion during the course of a chat, and it added how I believe that Netflix will always choose the crown over Harry and Meghan. It is highly celebrated scripted series that put Netflix on the map for original content. As this product was an award-winning game-changer for the streaming giant, and Harry and Meghan have yet to prove themselves in Hollywood.